What I want to get into today is a question that people ask me a lot, which is what happens when my kid gets in trouble at school? What do I do when they come home? How am I supposed to discipline them at home when they got in trouble at school? Am I supposed to, you know, raise the stakes and up the ante? Now, when people ask a general question like this, of course, I don't know all the details that are going on in your home. I certainly don't know the culture of your home. I don't know what your particular style is, but I do want to tell you this that there is no one right way to parent, but there is a right way for you. And I wanna help you find that. I wanna give you the best information that I can give you based on the best research and the best uh, experience that I have and expertise that I have in helping you get the family vibe that you want. So what to do about this situation when your child comes home from school and has gotten in trouble? Well, how would you feel? I'm just gonna turn the script a little bit here. How would you feel if you were at work and you got in trouble or something didn't go well? Let's say you made a presentation at work and um, it didn't go well, it just fell flat or you totally bombed, right? And your boss pulled you aside afterward, and said something along the lines of, you know, you really, you gotta do better. Or maybe even you were put on work probation or maybe your job becomes, you know, a questionable whether or not you're gonna be able to keep your job or not. It was, it was that bad. It feels that bad to you, right? And you got that feedback at work. And then you come home and you tell a friend about it, or you tell your partner if you have a partner, you tell somebody who you, who you trust and you love about it. And what they say is something along the lines of, I can't believe that happened. And I am going to fill in the blank. You can't go to the movie with me. I don't wanna to go to the movie with you anymore. I don't wanna go out to dinner with you anymore. I don't wanna have that date that we were gonna have. That date night that we have, if you have a, a partner and you guys have date night, that date night, it's off. We're not gonna have it. Um, that vacation we were gonna take, uh-uh, not gonna do it. That yoga class or that gym class you wanted to, to take, you can't go because of what happened at work. How would you feel? It's a real question. I'm not here to tell you how you would feel. I'm asking you, how would you feel if that happened to you? For me, it would feel like a double whammy. Like, wait a second, this bad thing already happened at work and now I come home and I'm getting a double punishment? What is this? So when we take that perspective and we think about it from our kids' point of view, which is really the seed of empathy, which is gonna be the heart of everything that I teach, when we look at it from their perspective, how do we want to treat them when they come home after having basically a really crappy day at work and getting in trouble for it? Double punishing is a double whammy. And I just wanna alert you to how that would make somebody feel. I'm not here to tell you what to do because it may not feel exactly right for you. I don't know your circumstances, but I am here to tell you in this case, what not to do. Having a double punishment does not get the behavior that you're gonna want in the long term. In fact, it's going to make your child not tell you when they have a crappy day at school, later on when they have a job. You wanna keep the communication channels open with your child as much as possible. If they're really doing something that is really off base at school, like really, something very serious behavior wise that you need to correct, then I want you to lean into that and look at what is going on beneath the behavior. What is going on for your child that really needs to be addressed because the behavior is always just gonna be the symptom. Acting out is really gonna be just acting out a need. What is the need? This is our job as parents is to figure out what's the need. So once you start doing that detective work and you get curious, you'll be, be able to have a lot more compassion for your child and have a lot more empathy. But the very first step in there is always gonna be taking their perspective and thinking about it from their perspective so that you can engage in an empathic way and have the best relationship with your child that you can have. And that's all I want for any of you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.